So, a few of you have asked me, am I worried about having the sick energy batteries sitting in my garage, as the Australian weather can get really hot on summer days? Yes, ever since I've installed my sick energy battery back in August this winter, yesterday was the first time the inverter has almost reached 60 degrees, and it's only October springtime today. We haven't even reached December summer heat yet. I've been monitoring the temperature, and given its temperature is getting close to 60 degrees, I've decided to do something about it. In this video, I'm going to share with you my automated cooling solution for my SIG Energy SIG Gen Store. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. On the SIG Energy website, it says that the normal operating ambient temperature of the battery should be up to 55 degrees, and the operating temperature of the inverter is between minus 20 to 60 degrees. And seeing the cooling method of the SIG Gen Store is by natural convection, I thought to myself, hmm, my Vornado air circulator fan should be able to help cool things down a bit more. After testing it out, it is indeed pretty effective. It managed to cool down a couple of degrees Celsius in ambient temperature. Rather than taking my handy FamiDoc infrared thermometer to beam the SIG Energy SIG Gen Store every now and then, I bought the TAPO room temperature and humidity sensor, so I can watch and monitor the temperature on my phone even when I'm not at home. If you want to get the FamiDoc infrared thermometer and this TAPO room temperature sensor, Follow the link in the description down below. I've been using the TAPO cameras and doorbell for quite a while now, and this sensor conveniently works with the TAPO hub that comes with my doorbell. And take note, you must have a TAPO hub in order for it to work. I've made another dedicated video reviewing this TAPO room temperature and humidity sensor. Follow the link up in the top right or in the description down below. Okay, so to make sure my test is accurate, I simply left the TAPRO temperature sensor on top of my SIG Energy SIG Gen Store, and I've connected the TAPRO sensor to my SmartThings app on my phone. My SmartThings app can then record the temperature every 10 minutes automatically. The TAPO app does that as well, but the graph is a bit difficult to read. So what do I mean by ambient temperature? On a really hot day in my garage, the TAPO sensor would read about 42 to 43 degrees, and that would be the ambient temperature. And while the TAPO sensor reads 42 degrees, the SIG energy inverter reading would be about 55 degrees to 60 degrees from my direct infrared thermometer reading. Okay, on to the smart plug that is controlling my Vornado fan. This is the TAPO P110 Wi-Fi socket, the newer version that replaces the old P100 socket. Setup is really easy using the TAPO app, and it just works. So with this TAPO smart plug socket and the TAPO temperature sensor, I can now use the smart automation in the TAPO app to turn on and off my Vornado fan. With the first automation, I've programmed it. If the temperature is over 39.8 degrees, then turn on the smart plug and send me a notification. And the second automation is the reverse. When the temperature is below 37 degrees, then turn off the smart plug and then also send me a notification. And this is how many times the switch has turned on the fan. Three times yesterday and three times today. And this is the history of how many times the switch has turned off the fan. The app is pretty good. It shows a daily graph for today. See these jagged ups and downs of the temperature? Those are the fan switching on. 
cooling the temperature down to 37 degrees and then switching itself off. And after that, the temperature rises up again to 39.8 and the fan will start again. So this goes on and off for about 3 to 4 times a day, from about 11am to 2.30pm. I believe things will be very different in December summer days. Let's take a look at the monthly data. This is the day I installed the TEPO temperature sensor. The highest daily ambient temperature goes above 40 degrees to about 42 or 43 degrees every day. And ever since 15th of October, the temperature never goes above 40 degrees. This is because my Vornado fan will turn on when it reaches 39.8 degrees to cool things down. So that shows my automation is working pretty well. I'm glad my Vornado fan is making a difference, keeping the ambient temperature down and not exceeding 40 degrees. Do you guys think I should turn on the fan earlier, like when it reaches 38 degrees, so that I can keep the ambient temperature around 35 to 38 degrees? What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Now, not all circulator fan will work with this method. You will need a fan with a mechanical switch, not those where you need to touch the on-off button of the fan after you switch on the power plug. Once again, all the products I've mentioned in this video are in the description down below. The Vornado fan, the Tepo P110 smart Wi-Fi socket, and the Tepo temperature and humidity sensor. Oh, and this is another model of the TAPO temperature sensor. It has an e-ink display which looks really clear and beautiful. I will also be making another review video on this too. Now, to be fair, I'm not sure if this extra cooling for the SIG Energy SIG Gen store is required. And some of you might think, this is not necessary. And it's an overkill. Well... And I'm sure some of you will agree with me that we spent thousands of dollars buying this SIG Energy battery system. It's so good and we would like to look after it as much as we can. Whether it's necessary or not, I think keeping the inverter and battery cool is definitely a good thing. It reduces the risk of fire danger too. So what do you think? Leave me a comment down below. And if you find this video useful, make sure you leave a like so this video can spread and be useful to other fellow home battery owners too. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next video.